Hey everybody, welcome to the Fire It Up with CJ show. Today we have Jonathan Hammond and we are talking about the shaman's mind. Puna wisdom to change your life. So welcome, Jonathan. Welcome back. Thank you. So good to be here. So I wanted to talk about the Hawaiian cosmology. Now you talked that Hawaii um, was origins of um, that people there were formed from the stars. They came into the water, brought love. Um, we talked about that, but there's other these other ideas. Um, tell me a little bit more about Mana Aka and Maki and how they fit within the creation story. There's the Po, the Ao, and the I don't even know how to pronounce it. Is that part of yeah, what we've I'll, already yeah, talked let me, about? Let me help with that. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, if you think of um, a, a basic shamanic, let's go with Po and Ao. Okay. So, if you go with a basic shamanic idea that that we are creating. Our, we are each individually creating our dream, our own individual. We are dreaming our life into being. Mm -hmm. And that the people that we experience in our life and the situations that we experience in our life, just as, as would be in a dream, are reflective of something about us. Mm. So everything that we experience in some way is a reflection, is a symbol of our own thoughts. Mm. It's a really deep idea, but mm. it, that's how we interpret dreams. The easiest way to think of it, the interpretation of a dream is just whatever you experience in the dream is a reflection of something about you. Well, the waking dream, which the Hawaiians call ao, A-O, uh, is, uh, is essentially a reflection of the inward dream, mm. which the Hawaiians call po. Mm, P -O -P -O. Mm. So in Hawaiian cosmology, the day actually starts at nighttime. Oh, interesting. Not at daytime. And so it's out of the darkness, out of the inner world, out of the invisible that comes our waking life. Ah, uh, okay. So that's just, a, that's just a way to think of it. So that's okay. Like, and, and what is Komolopo? Komolopo or... Uh, oh, Kumalipo. Uh, that, that is the, uh, that's the Hawaiian creation chant. It's sort of like, uh, uh, would be equivalent to sort of the, the, the Old Testament, uh, uh, but it's, it's, a, uh, it's a chant from, um, and it's about the process of out of a vast night, this cosmic vast night, the, uh, it, the, the manifest reality started birthing itself, the, the plants, mm. the animals, the people, the, the, uh, uh, nature, et cetera. So yeah. it's very much it, it's very much alignment with with the sense that it's out of the darkness that that uh, life springs forth. So mm. a, a way to even um, uh, to think of this another way, you know, so often when people are coming to coming to me for um, uh, shamanic work or shamanic healing, you know, they'll present their difficulty or their illness or their life blew up or they've lost their relationship or they're having a financial uh, you know, issue or uh, or their boss is being mean to them, whatever. And it's out of that darkness because they've attracted it, because that that problem is a reflection of something about them. And it's not blame the victim. It's more aha. Okay, so this, this is presenting itself and it's a difficulty. And if you can start to look at what in you believes that you should be in alignment with this, mm. what, how, in what, where are your fingerprints on this? Not as, again, not as a way to blame the victim, but as a way to say, aha, then your difficulties become uh, an opportunity for the light of a new awareness. Mm. Right, you're dreaming a stream. So what, <laughs> where did it come from? That where yeah. did it come from? That's okay, right. Okay, got it. So that's, that is such a um, fundamentally different way of thinking about things. But I love the idea of, you know, in you, from your dreams in the darkness arises the, the reality that you create. It's very related to the seven principles of Huna that you were yeah. just- Yeah, and you know, it's really, you know, we talk a lot about, uh, I, you hear this language a lot around Huna, is that the uh, Huna is about taking 100% responsibility because essentially you're the one creating it. Wow. And because of that second principle, which says that everything is connected, what you're creating affects the all which means that what you're create that what you heal in yourself you heal in me what you uh deny yourself you deny in me mm, mm, mm. wow i like the idea of i love i know the the you know a lot of buddhists have this idea of like we're all one so when you heal you're healing all of us 
But I like the idea of when you are denying yourself, you're also denying others because we're all connected. I mean, it, it's just almost like a limit in the way that I think about things that if I didn't you think. think, if, yeah. you think of, if you think of the idea of if there are gifts mm -hmm. that you have that you're too afraid to invest in, because you don't have the self-esteem, because you don't, uh, because you're not sure, because what if I fail? The whole world is stuck with that. Mm. Mm, the, whole yeah. stuff, the whole world is stuck with your crap. Mm. I love that idea. Okay, so there's this idea that um, in your book, you talk about Hawaiian magic. Yeah. Um, tell me what that is. And mana, aka, and maki, I don't know if those are related or not. Okay. Yeah, they are. Uh, so um, what we're really talking about is th this is sort of the... Uh, uh, the, the, the part of the building blocks of, of magic. What do I mean by magic? Magic is, magic is just conscious manifestation, bringing something into being. Mm -hmm. So there are, there are three ideas that are just helpful for us to understand that. Mm -hmm. So the first one is, and, and they're, they're really quantum ideas, and I'm not, I'm not going to get too egghead here, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but the, the first one is called Akka. And Akka is uh, the idea that there's no such thing as empty space that in the space around us is just unrealized potential. Hmm. And that potential essentially uh, lights up when we think about a certain thing. That's why when you think of someone, you get the text message, you know, or you have the dream and then the dream, you know, and then the, the, the dream comes true, you know? Mm -hmm. And the idea is, is that, is that it's in this, in this, it, so Akka is this field of potential that lights up and actualizes with Makia our thoughts. Mm -hmm. and and that what we want to manifest has to do with our mana and our mana is just mana is um a way to think of it is just the ability to do work it's power and and so if you think of the idea of mana is really about the ownership of my thoughts actually affect reality mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and that and and that because my thoughts affect reality I have to own that I deserve and that I have confidence to go after what it is that I want. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. so it's kind of, it, it's like the power underneath the thought. It's the, it's the, uh, even I, this gets a bad, this word gets a bad rap, but even the sort of entitlement underneath the, um, underneath the thought, you know, our yeah. own power that says, that says I, I can go after this. Mm. And then the field of potential is waiting for you to do that. And then feel the potential manifests into whatever it is that you're placing your focus on. Right. So that's, that's sort of the that's sort of the idea of those those three ways to. Wow. Uh, another way to think of it is uh, there's something called the the ha prayer or, or hypule, um, and hypule is a, essentially a magical spell, and it's four elements. It's energy. So you're building up your energy, and you're thinking, you're getting excited about the thing. It's words, you're talking about the thing, you're actually verbalizing the thing. It's images, you're visualizing the thing. And then it's taking action mm. without the doubt. You do those mm. four things, you remove the doubt, instant manifestation. Yeah, it's so interesting. It really is um, so, so related to a lot of um, modern thought about um, manifestation and quantum theory, all these different types of things. It's so interesting. All roads and, lead to Rome, don't they? Yeah, it's really um, what's fascinating to me is, you know, this whole idea that we're all connected. Our thoughts are connected to each other. Our dreams are connected to each other. Our shadows are connected to each other. So, you know, if we're all connected, everything is one. So anything you do, your dreams, your hopes, your limiting beliefs, they all affect each other, which is, um, you know, in this cosmic soup of spiritual memes that <laughs> float around you know, i find my, this one more fulfilling because yeah, my, my, my teacher serge said something once that really blew my mind and you have to sit with it for a minute he said if you want to because we're so connected because there there, there it's a limitless limitless universe that separation is an illusion that uh if you want to heal someone think of them and you feel good mm. yeah why not? Yeah. Um, I love the whole um, idea of connectedness, um, how you're waking and 
waking hours and dream it's un, it's unclear what is being awake and what is being asleep honestly <laughs> it's very very interesting i love it okay so we've been talking to jonathan hammond about his book the shaman's mind the huna wisdom to change your life and in the next segment we're going to be talking about the three selves it's kind of a big appetizer version of his entire book thank you so much <laughs> 